A bronze figure towers over Lincoln Park on Chicago's north side. The figure's pose and dress is striking and brings to mind some great heroic figure of the ancient Greco-Roman past. The statue does not pay homage to a Greek god or hero, however. Instead, the inscription on its base reads, To Goethe, the mastermind of the German people, the Germans of Chicago, 1913. The late 19th and early 20th centuries were a time of rapid German immigration to the United States. Across the country, communities of German immigrants began to commission monuments, with many depicting renowned German literary and philosophical figures such as Schiller and Goethe. By raising these monuments, they sought to celebrate their culture and incorporate their heritage into American cities through public art. By the turn of the 20th century, the population of German Americans in Chicago had reached 470,000. German newspapers, clubs, churches, and theaters formed a large social network in which German Americans openly engaged with their language and culture while living and working in Chicago. Much like their German American counterparts across the United States, Chicago's Germans decided to commission statues honoring both German heroes and their own community. The first statue they raised was a portrait of Schiller, and thousands of people attended the unveiling. Following the success of the Schiller statue, one of Chicago's German social clubs, the Schwabenverein, commissioned a statue of Goethe in 1896. In 1910, the project finally began to move forward. That year, a competition was held to determine the statue's sculptor, and the winner was announced as Hermann Hahn, a sculptor from Munich. Hahn's design included a stone bench with an inscription from Faust, as well as a portrait relief of Goethe. The focal point of the monument is the bronze statue, however, which stands in front of the bench. The competition had one important rule, no portrait statues. Unlike previous statues of Goethe, this statue had to celebrate his spirit rather than the man himself. Hahn embraced this rule in his design. The body of the statue recalls the heroic nudity of the ancient Greeks, in which a male hero or deity is depicted with a youthful, idealized body. The statue's face is reminiscent of statues of Apollo and Jason, and Alexander the Great. The eagle that rests on his right arm is an ancient Greek and Roman symbol of Jupiter and a messenger of victory, and was later adopted as a Germanic symbol from the medieval period onwards. Hahn blended various important classical elements to evoke the overall qualities of the ideal men of ancient Greco-Roman myth. The statue therefore celebrates the strength and tenacious spirit both of Goethe and the German immigrants by whom the monument was dedicated. Despite the rich symbolism of Hahn's statue, the design caused some controversy, with Harriet Monroe, a Chicago art critic, declaring the pose insecure and comparing the eagle to a decoy duck. This criticism stood in stark contrast to the response of Chicago's German community, who showed their support at the monument's unveiling on June 13, 1914. Over 20,000 people attended, and several speeches were given, including one by Johann Heinrich von Bernstorff, the German ambassador to the United States, who called the monument a new bond of intellectual and cultural relations between Germany and the United States. This sentiment was echoed by several other speakers, who all hoped that the monument would both celebrate the contributions of German immigrants and integrate their culture into the fabric of Chicago and American society. Unfortunately, this optimism was short-lived, as two weeks later, World War I began. German Americans, their language and their culture began to draw negative attention, with many questioning their loyalty. This anti-German sentiment extended to Goethe's statue. Residents of Lincoln Park began to threaten to remove the statue themselves, with many seeing it as unpatriotic and anti-American. The Lincoln Park Board of Commissioners decided to allow the monument to remain, however. This decision was not taken well, as several weeks later, on May 7, 1918, the statue was defaced with yellow paint. A placard was left on the statue, calling for its removal. Once more, however, the monument overcame its critics and remained in place. After the war, the monument faded from the spotlight and quietly watched over Lincoln Park. It continued to stand there until 1951, when it was struck by lightning. Fifty years after its dedication in 1914, Chicago's German-American community 
came together once more to repair and rededicate the monument. The rededication took place on August 28, 1954, on the 205th anniversary of Goethe's birth. In spite of controversy, vitriol, and lightning strikes, the statue still stands. Its continued presence for over a hundred years only emphasizes its position as a symbol of the strength and resilience of Chicago's German immigrants and a part of the city's diverse cultural history.